Hey everyone, so today I am going to be showing you all of the awesome hype from this new vlogging camera that I got for myself. This was a little late birthday present for me and I am loving this so far. So I did mention it in a video that I had posted last week that I am using the M50 mirrorless camera from Canon. Now this isn't anything new. This camera has been out since 2018, and in fact, they just released the second version of this camera back in November of 2020. So I decided to still go with the original. I could have gotten the upgraded version, but in comparing them online, there isn't a significant difference. The only difference is the price. So if you wanna spend a little bit more, you can get the second version of this released back in November, but I just decided to go with this. I'm happy with this. So on this camera, you will see the Sigma 1.4 16 millimeter lens. Now this is an awesome lens for vlogging because you can hold the camera close to you and still get a nice wide angle. Now I'm not noticing any distortion, so it's not like my face is gonna look super wide or I'm gonna get some sort of fish eye lens view of everything. It's great for vlogging. Now I did notice I did get a filter for this too because sometimes if I'd like to film outside and I wanna shoot at 2.8, it's gonna let in way too much light to stay at that aperture. So I did get uh, a filter for the end of it to darken things up a bit. So I don't have that on here now. I did notice earlier when I was filming on it and I had the filter on that the autofocus wasn't able to focus well enough for me. So with the autofocus, uh, talking about that, look at this, flip out screen. Now I know there's other cameras that have this feature, but what I like about this is I can actually point the camera at myself as I'm filming and I can look in this little screen to make sure I'm in focus. And so with the autofocus tracking feature on this, I can, if I move, it will actually track me and still stay focused. And I think that is so cool. Now, like I said before, I'm not switching to Canon. This was just something that I got for myself. The price point was too good to pass up. You can pick one of these up for 600 bucks. It comes with the kit lens. So with a deal like that, I couldn't pass it up. Um, the other thing I really like about it is how light it is. Now there's only a select number of lenses that you can get with this. The Sigma line for these lenses is pretty great. And of course you can find plenty of other YouTube videos on there about the line of lenses that come for this camera. But for what I'm gonna use it for, I just found that the 16 millimeter Sigma lens was good enough for me. I'm not really gonna take pictures with this. I'm not really gonna get in too heavy with all of that. This is gonna be used just for making YouTube videos. I have all of my Fuji gear for that. We are still hardcore Fuji wedding photographers. So we use all of Fuji's line of products. We have the X-T2s and the X-T3s and we have pretty much all the lenses they make that go along with that. So this is strictly for making videos. I'm gonna start doing some behind the scenes videos of our weddings so that I can start posting those. I know that there has been some interest in some behind the scenes stuff that we're doing. So I am gonna be posting that. Bear with us though, it could take a little bit of time. It's hard to do stuff like that and also cover a wedding at the same time. So. Um, it might even have to be like during an engagement session where I have some flexibility as far as, you know, taking some behind the scenes stuff. So I am loving this lens. I, the, the flip out screen is like totally my favorite part. I mean, I'm totally geeking out over that. Um, one thing to note, which I find very interesting, every once in a while I use a mic for my iPhone and I have a little adapter that clips into the lightning port of my iPhone. So I have the Movo, uh, I have this, okay? And this actually plugs into my iPhone, okay? So I have the little adapter that you use for that, okay? That they just clip together and you plug it into your phone. Now I did wanna use this for my camera, but when I plugged it into the mic port, it wasn't working. 
So I did some research. It actually took like a whole day to figure this out because I actually thought that the audio port on the M50 was broken and I thought I would have to take it back to the store to get it fixed. But in all actuality, there is an adapter that you have to get. And I'm actually looking around for it right now. There is an adapter that you have to get for this. Sorry, I am pulling it off now. This, okay? In order for your microphone that you bought for your cell phone to work on a camera, there is an adapter you need. It's a TSSR adapter, okay? You need something that's gonna take it from the cell phone setting to a camera setting. And do you'll never guess where I found out this piece of information in the most unlikely place. It was an Amazon review that this guy left explaining that yes, you can use this for your camera from your cell phone. And let me take this off, it's for the win, but you can use this, okay? You just need this little adapter because the way I understand it is this microphone uses power from your cell phone, okay, in order to work. When you plug it into your camera though, it's not able to tap into that power. So you need a little adapter that is going to allow it to use the power from the camera and to actually work. So that's an interesting little tidbit. There's all these things I'm finding out now, now that I'm using a camera for vlogging. I have been using my cell phone this whole time and that's actually what I'm filming on right now just to get this to you. But I have noticed also that there's a huge difference between filming on my cell phone, which I have uh, an iPhone 11. There's a huge difference because the iPhone has all these amazing skin filters that make your face look really smooth and beautiful. And I guess I've gotten a little used to that. When I film on this and I'm making actual YouTube videos, it is so sharp that I am literally able to see every line in my face. And I know you probably can't see that right now, but on this, if you look at another YouTube video where I'm actually using this, it's actually a little shocking to see. I mean, you can see everything and that's good. Everyone has skin texture. So I'm not trying to hide that. It's just, I couldn't believe the sharpness of this lens and the sharpness of this camera. It's very simple to use for a beginner, but it's also advanced enough that if you know what you're doing, you can tweak some little settings in here and really customize it so that you can get the videos that you want. So I just wanted to show this to you. It's so small, it's so cute, it's so light. I'm really happy with it. I never thought I would ever buy another Canon camera in my life because we switched to Fuji back in 2016 and we sort of been running with them ever since. But I've gotta say, for 600 bucks to pick up a little mirrorless camera like this that is so amazing at doing video, I'm really happy with it. If Fuji had something like this at that price point, I probably would have gone with Fuji. But their X-T4, the screen doesn't quite flip out the way I would like it to for vlogging. And it's like super expensive. It's like $1,700. So I'm not really prepared to spend that right now. If you're looking for a really nice pocketbook friendly vlogging camera, I can't say enough good things about this. And no, I'm not being sponsored by them. I'm not advertising you know, for them in any way. I'm not being paid for this, but I mean, if you look at the number of YouTube videos where people are raving about this camera and how awesome it is, you would be really surprised. This was an easy sell for me. I, I picked one up immediately and I have been in love ever since. So I plan on doing a lot of cool things with this. I'm gonna be vlogging, I'm gonna be taking some behind the scenes videos. Uh, I'm gonna be doing all kinds of stuff with it. So stay tuned. Um, Click, you know, on the like button on this video, subscribe to my channel. I am not trying to push my channel in any way on any other platform. I'm hoping that you guys just sort of come across it organically. So thank you so much for watching this. Go rent or borrow one of these cameras or buy one, pick one up somehow. You are going to be shocked and amazed at how cool this little thing is. Thank you so much.